What's up guys, my name is Devil Ray. What's up guys, my name is Devil Ray. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in for this episode of Devil Ray Pen Testing. Um, uh, this is my first video recording for um, Cyber Warrior Studios. I am now going to be exclusively for Cyber Warrior Studios. Previous video you guys saw uh, uploaded to Devil Ray Pen Testing, the video from my old channel that I'm no longer posting on. I'll still use that channel to um interact with the community on cyber warrior studios um i.e whenever cyber warrior streams or um commenting in the comment section um but the purpose of this show here is to go over um hack the box penetration testing uh ethical hacking we're going to go over some tools uh main resource that we're going to use for the most part is going to be hack the box itself uh going over a bunch of retired machines um, eventually we'll go into uh, try hack me and learn a couple of um, tools there as we discuss tools and then maybe do a couple rooms there and then we'll eventually get to where we build our own windows directory or active directory lab excuse me um and go over and uh, do some attacks uh, live with windows uh, active directory on a local machine and you guys can see how that happens and how that works um so thank you guys for uh tuning in um if you guys do want to support uh the show here on cyber Warrior studios uh, i do have a patreon and a buy me coffee down in the description uh description section below um if you guys want to don't have to but always greatly appreciated uh so without further ado let's go ahead and get moving into uh the box for tonight Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get after the box for tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to go after Legacy, which is a retired box on Hack the Box. Um, this was the first box that I had ever gotten both uh, user and root access on. Um, it was very fun. I used Metasploit to uh, initially gain access and eventually take both user and root. Um, what I've done recently is gone back and learned the manual way of uh, the exact same exploit and got it done that way. Um, which for me was a lot of fun. It got me into uh, Python, which we'll get into uh, here in a few. Um, well, I already went ahead and ran the scan for it, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right. Um, so starting up, it looks like we have uh, three ports open. Um, we got port 139, 445, uh, 3389. Um, and it looks like we also have SMB Discovery. Um, so the one that led me to the exploit that I uh, got to was this right here. I searched the operating system. Typically do that first, in my opinion, um, before I go into the ports. If it's something um, worthwhile like a Windows XP or Windows Vista 7 or 8. Go ahead, copy that, go over here, paste that in. And so... There's exploit using Metasploit, which is, I believe, um, someone's write-up. Uh, there's you know, more write-ups. But this right here is um, MS08067. Um, I believe it's the net API DLL file that is exploited. Um, but this is what I ended up using. Um, in Metasploit. So let's go ahead and back here that open so that way I can reference the scans later. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get Metasploit up and running. Alrighty, so let's go ahead because we know the exploit that we're going to use. Search ms08 67. Use a little bit bigger. Oh, come here. 
Alright, yep, it was. Cool, so it was um running the net API. What it was running through. Um so let's go ahead and use zero as that's what we want. Here just so we have our IP address. So show options. Um so we need to set our host. And uh, all right, and then 445 for our port, which is fine. Set our all right, yep, so my IP is set, the host. And uh, ten. Set that. Um, L port's fine. Now we're just gonna hit run. And we got interpreter. In my opinion, I prefer shell. Uh, for this box because it's a little bit easier. Um, to run. So, um, don't want to. That. So let's go ahead and directory here. Um, go ahead and go into and settings and that's where our list of users are. Um, to show you that I this is where you can get both root and um user so let's just go ahead and go into the administrator folder and as you can see it lost me in there um but also we whenever we first got shell uh we got not only did we get a uh interpreter um shell but whenever i typed in shell we actually had system 32 so we logged in as the system itself um allowing us to have full access to everything as you can see, we gained access to um, the administrator folder. You can also go into his desktop and then directory there, and there's the root text. Um, so that's Metasploit. Pretty quick, simple, easy to get into. Um, you just gotta know what to search for in order to get to the exploit. So now, let's go into the fun part. Terminate channel, yes, I don't want that anymore. Exit, exit, clear that, get back into hack the box, our legacy folder. So I went ahead and downloaded um, a fresh copy of Python code to run the exact same exploit. Um, first, what we're, we're going to do is make sure that the thing crash. Alrighty, so now we are going to run. The manual exploit is the MS08067. Alrighty, so now we're going to go in to the MS, um, the, the exploit folder. And as you see, we've got the license, uh, exploit itself for Python and README. Let me actually show you where I got that from. Um, So go here, Andy Acer is the one where I ended up downloading it from. Um, for me, this worked. Um, once I did it, a little bit of modification to his Python code. And this is where, um, if you're getting penetration testing or ethical hacking, at least understanding um, at least a computer language or programming language like Python, because if I didn't know Python, never would have gotten this to work. Um, not at least in the time span that I got it working in but I chose um, examples for the MSF Venom that you can use and then the usage for Python on how to use it there um, which we'll come back to here get our Venom package ready but first let's go ahead 
I'm going to show you the edits that I had to do to the Python code itself. Let's go ahead and maximize this. If we were to run this as it is right now, it would not work with the current version of Python. This is uh, written in Python for 2018. Um, not going to work anymore. Um, because in the print uh, command, it needs to be parentheses in order for this to work. You would run it, it's going to hang up with, um, it's going to ask you, hey, did you mean to do this? Add parentheses. So what you have to do is on every single one of these print um, calls, you have to go in and add parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead, get all of that um, modified and done to this Python code, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and got everything up to date with the um, parentheses for all the print um, calls. So next thing that we need to do is we actually need to go in and get our actual show code to paste right here because this one needs to be replaced. So we're going to save that for right now. Minimize that. You want know no? I want to close that. Oh. There we go, close that here. Clear that, and then, again, we're gonna reference the um, guy that wrote the code. We're gonna reference his um, post, because he has the bad characters already um, labeled all here for us. Um, and which would keep us from uh, allowing us to uh, actually get a shell code. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace our L host with our current IP address for hack the box. Um, port 443. Personally, I like to change all of that. Let's go to that at the minimum. Again, uh, we got our exit function. Um, we're generating a show over TCP. Uh, we got bad characters here. Uh, we got our architecture and we got a platform of Windows. So let's go ahead and generate our shell code. Um, there it is. That's pretty quick. So now we're going to take everything from the parentheses right here. The first parentheses up there. I'm going to copy that and then go back to gedit here. Now we're gonna go in. Control V. Just for sanity's sake. Last couple characters. All right, cool. We're good to go. All right, so now we have our shell code pa uh, pasted into the exploit. Go ahead and close that out. Clean that up a little bit. Go ahead and get our listener running. So netcat uh, nl dp four 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 four. Start that up. Go back here. Uh, wrong one. And so usage for this is going to be um, Python, and then the Python script, and then op, uh, OS number, and then port number. Um, based off of this one, we are going to be using. This is the one that. I got to work. Uh, we'll find out. Python that are uh, one twenty nine. Yeah. Operating system import. Oh, so we're gonna go six and then four forty five. Double check, make sure we got a listener. Yep, listener is running. Send it. Exception. Okay, so let's go ahead and do get it. Python or er, line thirteen. Or get rid of.
I was print. Go down to eighteen. One going all with it. Two eighteen. Brand. Ah, that's what it is. Got parentheses right there. Yep, I think that was it. So let's go ahead, double save, make sure we got it good to go. Try one last time. Disconnected. And we're in. As you can see, we have system 32. So um, at that point, now we have shell. Um, So we can go CD, change directory back all the way up that we can now see documents and settings so in the settings and there it is as you can see administrator and john And there's our root.txt right there. So that is how you do both the Metasploit module and the um, manual version of um, MS08 dash um, or underscore, whichever, 067. Um, for me, again, this was a fun box to run, both for uh, running Metasploit and then first time ever running a, an exploit manually by having a Python code. Um, so I highly recommend running this either while you watch the video or, um, if you want, um, after you watch this video, um, run through it, get familiar with it. It will help you out in the long run. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys want to consider, uh, supporting the show here on Cyber Warrior Studios, um, I have Patreon and Buy Me a Coffee down in the, or uh, links down in the description below. Um, that directly goes to either buying things um, for uh, the show, either building or getting software or getting hardware like Hack5 hardware so I can do demos for that as well um, and stuff like that. Um, but again, thank you. Uh, please subscribe, um, leave a like, and hit the bell icon, bell icon so that way you get notified of all uploads and live streams that happen here on this channel. Thank you guys and y'all have a great evening.